I recently made a shadow box that included a coin, and uh, while I didn't make a video on it, I did post some pictures on Instagram, and I got some questions about how I mounted the coin. So I'm just going to show you. It's very simple. Uh, this is just some quarter-inch uh, foam backer board. Um, this was sufficient for the shadow box that I made. Uh, in some cases, you may want to use quarter-inch uh, plywood if something you're hanging is fairly heavy but uh, for for coins and ribbons and stuff like that this was sufficient and it's easy uh, to poke the the wire through the quarter inch plywood you're gonna need to use a drill bit but it's the same process and I'll just use this poker chip as the example so I have some uh, 18 gauge wire here, just got this at the store, nothing special about it. I uh, clip it using these these uh, pliers down to about three inches or something like that. And it is a little dirty, um, so especially if you have something that's uh, sensitive, uh, white or cloth maybe that's going to get some of the residue on it, you might want to wipe all this off. Um, so there's that. Essentially I'm going to do this. Um, four ways to make it easy to uh, to hold the coin but this in reality will hold any shape I like the idea of showing you the coin because uh, the coin actually is tight enough that it won't rotate so once you get it in the box it's not going to be messed up over time but actually any shape will will work so first bend it in half so you get something like that and then I Squeeze it together so you get something a little bit more tidy looking. If that will get into focus. Maybe not. There we go. Then I created uh, just a, a, a small L shape at the end. And this is, uh, you know, you can make it any size you want. Obviously, if you've got something small, you're not going to want a, a huge piece of material hanging over but you can make it any size you want so that's probably a quarter inch bend right there and just using the pliers makes it simple so I will do that for all of these and so the idea is that these will these will cradle the coin uh, in the corner or three places around. I put it four times around, but um, anywhere you like. And of course, if you have an odd shaped piece, you can put them wherever you like. So you may want to use some double stick tape to hold it in place while you get it where you want, but um, not necessary. And in reality, I found that it was easier just to use a single piece of wire to poke the holes. Uh, you don't, uh, because it's foam board, the the double thickness of wire will will fit through this hole. So just make the four holes. You could angle it back a little bit so the wire kind of goes behind. You can see my fingers are dirty. Uh, goes behind the coin, but that's not necessary. And then just push the wire through. I obviously didn't try too hard to get these in exactly some particular place, but you can do it as evenly as you want. So now it looks like this, and you can see the coin still spins a little bit. So what you want to do is hold a piece in, hold one of them in, and just bend the back. And you can see it's getting a little tighter. Hold another one. And I'm just pressing against the coin with my thumb so it's compressing the foam board a little bit. And right there you can see that the, the coin doesn't move. I can move it if I want, but it's not going to move just from moving the uh, you know the piece around so that's what it looks like in the back you can trim them if you like 
or just leave them. I cut them to this length simply because it makes it easier to manipulate with your fingers. But that's essentially it.